What's up guys, this is Tashe and thank you for watching. This is going to be the next episode of my Pushing Through Masters and I've got some um, nice attacks to show you guys today but I actually just messed up for the first attack in I think like three days that I actually lost. So I'm going to show you some of these ones but a couple minutes ago I actually got a 47% and I was at uh, 2930 trophies so I when I lost this 27 oh it was so bad 47% I got so close um, but yeah that's what happens in Clash of Clans and uh, so now I'm gonna have to probably do three more raids to get back those 27 trophies and then also um, someone gave me a shield that took four trophies so it's 31 trophies that I went backwards which is terrible but anyway, guys, I'm going to show you some of these attacks that I've made, that I've that I've got. As you can see, here, some nice ones here, and um, yeah. So let's go through them. There's four that I want to show you guys. So let's get straight into it. Okay, guys. So here's the first one. Um, this is a tunnel ten, and I saw that both these um, inferno towers were busy being upgraded. So I thought I'll go for this 1,800 dark elixir, seeing that it's on the outside. So there goes my three golems, some wall breakers at the top and at the bottom and the jump spell goes down there's only I think one archer that came out of I oh know I actually dropped the poison spell at the wrong side but they did split up so I think that is probably a nice thing about archers in the clan castles most people you know if you don't um, if your archer split up then you can't get all the enemy cl uh, clan castle troops dead quickly so anyway here all my pickers and some wizards and troops are going into the center so getting the tunnel was quite easy um, I already managed to get most of the dark elixir and I wanted to get some of the storages as well um, so yeah there I dropped some troops at the top my CC because um, those archer towers were focused on some of the troops that was over there or at the top I think it's a golem there you can see a wizard tower is shooting at a golem so um, here my pickers were going together my king and queen were trailing behind so right here my queen was being targeted by the cannon so I used her ability so that she can retarget to the pickers or something and then that worked out quite nicely there the queen takes out the cannon and now I've got my king taking some damage from that archer tower and my queen is just about to come and take out the archer tower I still have golemites or I just had golemites at the top and now that one golem is distracting the wizard tower now over here um, I only have my king's ability left so I use it there the giant bomb goes off but here my queen actually because the king is distracting the cannon the queen actually managed to take out the now I want you to look <laughs> this is very funny look at that little cannon there I want to pause it here here the golem is distracting the archer tower if that little cannon wasn't there I would have actually managed look at this little cannon that's like a pea shooter he actually takes out my queen and that lot last archer there and this caused me not being able to get um, 100% but because this golem was distracting the last defense so oh I was this was so sad when I saw this at that little puny cannon managed to keep me from getting a three star but I got some nice loot um, so there we go 14 trophies is better than nothing so yeah I was happy with this one even though that tiny cannon actually ended my raid alright so the next replay I want to show you guys here I've got going for a tunnel 9 again so I drop off my three golems at the top some wizards behind them I only have six wall breakers at the moment I'm not sure if that's actually enough and they actually go, went off to the side here now that rage wasn't the best rage I should have dropped it a little bit closer but I saw the queen and I wanted to make sure that my wizards can take her out quickly so there I drop my jump spell and the picker, the wizards, the golems, they all go over the jump spell um, now I send in my queen and as you can see here um, they were, the golems were actually tanking quite nicely for the wizards and for my queen so here I've got two golems on the bottom and the one in the center and my king and a picker has gone around the top so to me this was working out quite nicely um, my queen took down the tunnel there I still have some wizards they're trailing behind now there was a giant bomb here somewhere 
So I know they were taken off there. All my wizards die on the inside. But here this cannon at the bottom was tanking for the wizard. So as you can see here, there was only two defenses left. It's the wizard tower and the archer tower. And with that golem there, the archer tower, as soon as he took, took down the kings, went for the golem. And then my archer queen and the wizards were just able to finish off the last few structures. So there my golem is actually still in one piece. So this was quite a nice 3 star I think. Um, yeah, so this was also 19 trophies and some nice dark elixir and some elixir. So they didn't cost me that much. Alright, then the next one. Um, I've seen this base a few times uh, in the past. So here I got my 3 golems again. Wizards behind. Um, I dropped my wall breakers in the trying to get into the middle. Um, there goes two of them. Uh, well, I think I dropped three. And here at the bottom. And now my pickers, my king. Um, all of them is going into those two compartments. So I drop a rage here. And um, right between those two compartments I just drop my jump spell. And now all the troops are going into the center. The golems are heading into it now. I've got two picker and wizards and my heroes going into the center. So... Here my clan castle wizard started going around the bottom, which was fine because there was a golem distracting the cannon there, so and the archer tower right at the bottom. So there the cannon actually retargeted once the golem exploded, so that wasn't the best thing to happen. But there was two golems at the top taking some damage from those three defenses. So when I saw that I decided to drop my last two wizards at the top, seeing that they are um, those defenses are being distracted by the golem so then those two wizards went and they took out that archer tower and went around the top and then at the bottom here I still had my my king two pickers some wizards and my queen was trailing behind them so this worked out quite nicely because those pickers started tanking for my queen so my queen took out the cannon the hidden tesla and also the wizard tower as you can see I think she also took out that archer tower so you know, if, if everything works out nicely, then the picker, the king, the, ja, um, the golems, they usually uh, walk around and just tank for your for your queen. So that's what you actually want, and your wizards. So that's why this one also worked out. This was only eight trophies. I shouldn't have actually gone for this one, because if I've failed, it would have been a big loss. But anyway, guys, then I was blessed with this base. Now, this is up in, I was at 2,900. So this was the last base I attacked before I lost that 27 trophies. These are all full. So I was like, what? So I didn't even use all my spells, which I tried to save. So I opened up the two corners, and I wanted my golem to try and go for that wizard tower in the middle, but he obviously walked around. So behind the golems goes the wizards. Now this one, it's only a town hall 8, and it's not even maxed. So this was quite a... A nice find and the trophies weren't too bad uh, as well I thought it was going to be like five or six trophies I've actually seen a three trophies for other town on nine which was almost the same level as me so that wasn't very nice but there at the top the two golems are actually tanking for those wizards and here at the bottom the golem and the pekka are also tanking for a few wizards trailing behind them so because those golems were just running to the front those wizards were just following in behind and you know take out everything I only used the two rage spells um, and of course once I got here I realized there was no way I'm not gonna win this raid so I thought thought to save my heal and my jump um, my heroes were also fine because everywhere the golems were tanking all the defenses were shooting at golems so most of my my heroes actually stayed up my pickers actually stayed up so I had so many wizards and pickers left. Here you can see three full golems, two pickers, lots of wizards running down on that last little builder's hat. So this was so many troops. Um, I didn't even have to use my clan castle. But anyway guys, so this was a nice find. 280,000 gold, 400,000 elixir, 2,400. And then with my bonus of 120,000 and 900 dark elixir, it worked out quite nicely. Thank you for watching guys and I will see you guys again soon.